Hey guys, I hope all is well and I got a whole bunch of exciting, interesting, and well, weird news about Battlefield 4, but more specifically the new Battlefield 4 DLC Final Stand. They came out with a new trailer showing off all four, uh, four new maps that will come with Final Stand and two new things to the game. Also, you can play in the CTE, you can play each map. Uh, for the last three days they've already put the first three out, so the third one is out right now. So you could play if you play right now, um, and then the last map will be released tomorrow, only just for the one day, and then you'll have to wait till it comes out. So in this video, I just wanted to show you guys the new trailer for Final Stand, even though I'm sure many of you have seen it already, and I also wanted to go over all the new vehicles and weapons they have shown us in this video, in the game, and rumored. Just before I start talking, all the information I will be sharing with you today is from either my own experience playing Final Stand or it's information from websites like Simthic, Battlefield Wiki, or the Battlefield official blog. The first new weapon we see in the trailer is a new stationary weapon called the SC-42 or also known as the Metal Storm. Instead of the well-known tow launcher, that shoots a missile and you control where it goes. The Metal Storm shoots 15 small explosive shells like a giant shotgun. And these shells can travel a long distance with barely any drop, easily killing infantry. And I'm pretty sure it can take out all vehicles. Basically this thing is already extremely OP and you might have heard that it can flip vehicles, but thankfully that is just a glitch and the devs already know how to fix it. Here is a video of just how crazy OP it is. Damn! After they quickly show the metal storm, they quickly show the new hovering tank, which is called the HT-95, but I like to call it the hover tank. The stats of the tank are identical to the main tanks already in the game, but the HT-95 has the ability to side thrust, which makes it a little more maneuverable, but because of the extra maneuverability, they made it so there is no separation between the turret and the hull, meaning the horizontal aiming movement side to side is not possible. This means that you can only move the turret up and down, and if you want to aim at something to your right or left, you have to move the whole tank left or right so the cursor is on the target. One quick note, this is very similar to the Type 32 Nekomata hover tank, which was in 20, Battlefield 2142. Other futuristic weapons they created for the Final Stand DLC are the Rorsch X1 and the XD1 Acipiter. I don't know how to say that, but that's that's the best I could do. Both of these are going to be battle pickups since they both seem to be pretty OP as well. Seems to be the trend in Final Stand. The Rorsch X1, or better known as the Railgun, is a battle pickup sniper rifle, which can shoot targets from extreme distance, like insanely far dis distances, with no bullet drop at all. It only shoots one round each time and then you have to reload which takes almost 7 seconds to complete the process. When firing the railgun, you actually have to hold the fire button and wait till the crosshair goes red and then it will fire. The delay of that is almost uh, around, it's around 2 seconds, I think it's uh, just, just a little bit less than 2 seconds. 
Also, it fires a heavy Sabot round, which does 150 damage, and can not only take out infantry on contact, but it can take out all other vehicles in only 3 or 4 hits. Also, uh, if you shoot beside infantry, it does do explosive damage. Basically, the only thing you need to know is stay far away from enemies and learn how to lead your shots, and you will dominate everything with this gun. The XD-1 Asapeter, better known as the MKV Multiple Kill Vehicle, which uh, was actually going to be a real weapon that the US were planning to create to defend its carriers from multiple ballistic missiles, is another flying robot that you can control just like the MAV, but it also runs off a timer like the Suave. The MKV, MKV is so deadly because it's fast and it also has an M134 minigun mounted at the front which can easily mow down infantry but can also take out vehicles other than the tank. The last things they've added to Final Stand is the snowmobiles, the TDD, and the TS3 and the Knife Tanto. The snowmobile is fun and handles basically like the ATV, a wild speedy machine that has to be tamed, but it's a great way to get around quickly on large snow maps. The TDD is the only attachment that they've released so far, which can be used by every class. It basically looks like the laser attachment, but the TDD is a prototype device created using parts from the MT955 and tugs which while active will detect enemy movement with a narrow cone in front of you and report it to your team's minimap. So basically it's just uh, instantly spots enemies and puts it on the minimap for all of us to see, or all of the team, your team to see. The DS3 is a new gadget which is basically identical to the DS22 from 2142, Battlefield 2142, which when deployed by a recon soldier, it then transmits an enemy signal onto the minimap of the enemy team. So basically you can use it to lure the enemy troop to the location of this gadget, um, allowing you to kind of uh, basically uh, surprise them and then you can kill them. So it's, it's kind of cool and I guess it would be good for when you're deep in enemy cover and you can kind of confuse the enemy. The last one, the Knife Tanto, is basically a heavy duty knife that can slice through ice. So it's pretty, pretty crazy looking knife, that's for sure. Finally, on Simthic, there is information about another new knife, which is actually just an icicle. So we will potentially be stabbing people with ice, literally. There could be a pod launcher which will fire shells and wherever they land will deal massive damage. And last but not least, there have been rumors of a walker like they had in 2142, since we know there are blueprints and parts scattered around at least a couple of the maps in Final Stand. But yesterday, one of the devs was pretty adamant and said that there was definitely not going to be any walkers in Final Stand because it's just too futuristic. Overall, my first impressions on all the new weapons, gadgets, and vehicles is, well, I don't really get it, personally. Almost all of the stuff is an exact copy from 2142, so it's nothing new. Uh, new to the Battlefield 4 community, yes, I guess, if you haven't ever played 2142 or know nothing about it. But uh, this really has nothing to do with Battlefield 4 in general. So it doesn't really make sense to bring this into the game. It, it makes more sense to wait and have all of this in either a new futuristic Battlefield battlefield, or uh, bring it into Battlefront, the uh, Star Wars that EA is going to have. The Metal Storm, the Railgun, the DS3, the MKV all promote camping and all seem to be pretty OP right now. But obviously stats could change when they release this to uh, the public. The hover tank is interesting, but it's still exactly the same as the normal tanks, but you have the added difficulty of aiming the turret now. The TDD is cool, I guess, and I'm sure it will come in handy, but it's also kind of pointless since if you see the enemy, you can already point them out and they will pop up on the minimap as well for the rest of your team to see. Snowmobile is basically the only thing I'm really excited about since it's really fun to drive and just go crazy in the snow. And the knife and the icicle, well, they're, you know, they're kind of cool, I guess, but it's basically just cool to look at. No, no one really cares about the knife. It's not, it's not a huge deal. To finish this video, all I gotta say is why? Why, EA? Why DICE? Why can't you just make a simple game that 
everyone you know everyone will love and you know everyone will have a lot of fun with it if you just bring you know some guns from battlefield 3 back and just have good solid maps and not all this futuristic stuff I've, I have nothing against it really and I know many people including me really liked 2142 but I don't understand the point of putting all this in Battlefield 4 especially when the rest of the game isn't futuristic I don't know guys uh, why don't you guys tell me what you think about all this uh, the whole futuristic change I'd love to hear what you guys think so leave a comment in the comment section below it would be much appreciated if you could leave a like and anybody who is new here on my channel I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel for a huge array of Battlefield 4 and other first-person shooter videos I put out every few days thank you for watching and listening to me this was a long one but it was really fun Thanks again, and see you on the battlefield.